Hi guys, so today I'm going to be recreating another look from Taylor Swift's Blood, Bad Blood music video. And this one is the sort of smoky taupe look that she has right at the beginning when she's laying in that white outfit on the table and Kendrick Lamar is the one that's singing. So I'm starting off with my Stila CC color correction cream again, and it's in shade light. And because again, she has really beautiful skin throughout this, so I just want to even out my skin tone. So I'm going in with my NARS Sheer Glow uh, Foundation, and it's in the shade Siberia. And I'm just blending that in with my Flat Top Kabuki Brush by Sigma, making sure that I even out the redness again that's on my cheeks, a little bit on my chin, over my nose, and right between my eyebrows. I'm going to be going in with a little bit of concealer after this, but it just helps to get the base nice and even with the uh, foundation first. Okay, so like I said, I am now going to be going in with my concealer, and the concealer that I'm using is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW15, and I actually just ran out of this concealer, so I need to go and buy a new one, because I wanted to try a couple new ones, but I can't really, like, for I don't know, I can never bring myself to buy a new concealer while I have this one, because I love it, and I'm like, no, nothing's going to be better, but now that I've run out, I'm like, okay, no, I'm buying a new one, so new concealer soon. So I'm just putting that under my eyes and blending it in where there's still a little bit of more redness on my chin and a little bit around my nose. And also get a little bit right between those brows because I know I'd watched, um, Jacqueline Hill says that she gets a little bit of redness between her eyebrows and her foundation tends to break up a little bit there. I think that I get a little bit of that too. It seems to be more pop more common than she seems to think, but... Anyways, after I'm done that, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder and just putting that over my eyes and under my eyes and uh, on my under eye area, as well as on my T-zone and just down a little bit on my chin and around my nose. Pretty much just using this yellow powder to set my foundation. And, I don't know, I really like how that looks when it goes together. Okay, and then after that, I'm going in with a little bit of the Fawn shade from the, Anastasia Be from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And the contour kit that I have is actually in the shade Light. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. So I'm just using the shade Fawn to contour a little bit under my cheekbones and slightly up onto my temples as well. Then I'm going to put my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my lid as well as under my eyes, just that way I can prime the area for the, dark, for the uh, little bit of darker eyeshadow that's going to be going on next. Okay, and now I'm going in with a nice cool tone brown first. Now all the colors that I used in this are from uh, the BH Cosmetics 5th uh, edition of their 150 palette. So I have no idea what they're all called, but if you look through that, it's sort of that dark taupish brown that's right near the bottom row on the second palette, the one that's like right underneath. So I'm going in with that all over my lid. And then once I've finished packing that all over my lid, I'm going to go in with one that's just one shade darker and it's a little bit more gray. And then I'm going to blend that right over top. There we go. So once I have that, I'm also going to be using a little bit of blue from that Moody Blues palette from MAC. It was one of their, um, it was from the Toledo collection. And it's just that same blue and teal combination that I used in the last look that I did, but very minimal amount because I don't want this makeup look to look really blue. I'm actually going to be going in with a little bit of that smoky purple that's in the same Moody Blues palette just to give it more of that purpley taupe color. I just wanted to get a little bit of that blue tone in there as well because it'll also cool down the brown, cool down the brown that I had used before. And then once I have all those colors packed onto the lid, I want to take an angled fluffy brush and I'm just using that to blend out the the uh, line that I have right near my crease and just make that a nice gradual blend right towards my brow bone and out towards the corner of my brow, giving it more of an elongated oval shape. And now what's going to be happening for now is just blending and adding color and blending and adding a little bit more color and lots and lots more blending. I'm also going to take that same eyeshadow color and put it underneath my lash line because the color that she has on her eyeshadow goes all the way around. 
full ring around the eye. Okay, so my camera did die. The only thing that you missed though were my brows and my lashes being done. So I have my brow tutorial. You can click on it in the link here if you want to see it. I'm now going in with Peach's Blush and just dusting that on my cheeks and up towards my temples. And I really like, I don't know, I really like this blush recently. And I love that she actually has that sort of corally blush in these looks. So it means that I get to use it more often when I'm doing recreations. Then after that, I am going in with just a nice nude lipstick. Because last time I tried using more of a pinky nude to get the same color, and it didn't work because the lip gloss I put over top was a little bit more pink. So I'm going straight nude brown, and then the lip gloss that I'm putting over top is going to be slightly pink just to get that color. There you go, and there is that shiny pink lip gloss. Okay. And that is pretty much the look. Once I finish putting on the lip gloss, that's going to be it for the day. So I hope that you guys all enjoy this look. And I guess talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.